post, mid post, high post, post game sports. What it do, people? This past week, we learned that Coach Mike Bray, this will be his last season coaching the men's basketball players at Notre Dame. Um, I think Coach Bray deserves our respect. Did a great job with the program. Um, we hadn't been to the NCAA tournament since 1990 before Coach Bray became the coach of the Fighting Irish in Notre Dame. Did. But what I wanted to do was give him his flowers and rank his top 10 players of all time. Now, at number 10, I got Blake Wesley, combo guard, South Bend, Indiana native. Uh, was was a, one of those one and done guys that Mike Bray normally doesn't get during his tenure at Notre Dame. At number nine, I got sharpshooting Matt Carroll. Now, this guy wasn't recruited by Mike Bray. Uh, he was inherited from the former coaching staff. But this guy, I think, finished third all time in three point field goals made. Matt Carroll, sharp shooting Matt Carroll at 6'6, 210. He comes in at number nine on the list. At number eight, I got Indianapolis Pike point guard Chris Thomas. Now, Chris Thomas probably would have ranked number one, number two, top three had he not had. That knee injury, I believe it was a knee injury that derailed his career. Probably had the best freshman career or freshman season under Coach Mike Bray at Notre Dame. And he, in my opinion, should have entered the draft, the NBA draft, after his freshman year of college basketball. But his very first game, he stepped on the court, triple double, 20, 20 plus points. I believe 10, over 10 steals and over 10 assists. So at number nine, I got Chris Thomas. At number number uh, or excuse me, number eight, I got Chris Thomas. At number seven, I got the second best player on the best team that Coach Bray has ever had, and that's Pat Connaughton coming in at six foot five. Pat Connaughton did it all. Three point shooter would guard the best player on the opposing team could rebound was a uh, draft in the NBA draft that year uh, and I believe if I'm not mistaken had the highest vertical jump in that whole entire draft but at number 7 I got Pat Connaughton at number 6 I got Ben Hansbro the younger brother of Tyler Hansbro uh, just a fiery player uh, clutch player Ball, combo guard, smaller combo guard, but um, it was just a pleasure to watch. He had the heart of a lion, he was scared of the big moment. Give it up for Ben Hansbrook. At number five, I'll take Troy Murphy, a 6'11 tall boys glass center, who wasn't recruited by Mike Bray and uh, was inherited from the, from the staff that Mike Bray took over for. Now, he probably would be ranked higher on my list had he played more than one season under Coach Mike Bray, but it is what it is. The highest drafted player uh, under Coach Mike Bray, he went 14th overall in the 2001 NBA draft for the Golden State Warriors. Versatile guy, versatile big man, can shoot the three ball, left-handed rebound, can uh, face up and pull up from the high post and just a great player. At number four, I'll take Ryan Humphrey to transfer from Oklahoma, a 6'8", 235-pound big man. And I do believe had Mike Gray been able to recruit more players like a Ryan Humphrey, he probably would have won an NCAA tournament because this guy's presence underneath, I mean, rebounding, shot blocking, some of the most powerful dunks you've ever seen in Notre Dame history. Uh, an NBA draft pick, he went in the 
first round to the Orlando Magic, I believe 19th overall. Great, great player. I love Ryan Humphrey, and I personally believe Notre Dame needs to give him an interview for the head coaching job. All right, number three, I got South Bend's very own Demetrius Jackson, a 6'1 point guard. He's top of the cap. That guy is not 6'1. He's they're being generous. I believe he's closer to 5'9, 5'10, if that. But a very good point guard. Electric. You saw him dunk over seven footers. You saw him get key steals in games to secure victories. And shoot from the outside. Just a great hit. If that guy was anywhere near six foot one, he would have been a top ten pick when he came out in the draft when he was a second rounder. Went late to the Boston Celtics. And number two, my personal favorite basketball player under Coach Mike Bray, which was Luke Heron Goey, a 6'8, 245 pound power forward slash man. Uh, upon his recruitment, he had to be convinced that he could actually play in the Big East, in the Big East Conference, but that was put to bed quickly. Uh, during his freshman year, as he would get more and more playing time, and he would start, uh, or Coach Bray would start to realize what kind of player who Karen Goldie was. You talk about low post, mid post, and high post. Luke Karen could do, Luke Karen Goldie could do all that. Uh, and he can shoot. He probably was the best pure shooter, even at power forward. Under Coach Mike Bray, under all the players that Coach Mike Bray had during his tenure at Notre Dame, uh, he was also the Big East Player of the Year in 2008, and he's the only player in Big East Conference history to average 20 plus points and 10 plus rebounds for his career. So give it up for Big New Karen goes at number one, none other than Jerry and Grant. Uh, I, I rank Jerry and Grant number one on the list simply because he was the best player on the best team that Coach Mike Bray ever had at Notre Dame, which was the 2015 Irish uh, ACC Tournament champs. Uh, the only time Notre Dame won the ACC Tournament was in 2015 with Jerry and Grant. Uh, he should have won ACC Player of the Year that year. I don't know what they were thinking, but uh, this guy was awesome. He beat North Carolina, or that team beat North Carolina twice during that season. Awesome basketball player. He averaged 14.6 point, points per game and 5.8 assists per game uh, in his career at Notre Dame. Like I said, ACC Tournament MVP, first team All-American. 2015 first team all ACC. It's a lead player. Uh, the Irish best NCAA tournament run was that year where he led the Irish to the Elite Eight before losing to Kentucky 66 to 68. A real heartbreaker for the fighting Irish fans uh, because I believe had they been able to escape with that win against Kentucky, they would have won it all. That was the Coach Mike Bray's best chance to win the NCAA Tournament Championship. And they just came up short, but easily the most talented team, the most athletic team that Mike Bray has ever had at Notre Dame was that 2015 team. And number one on my list for the top 10 best basketball players to play under Coach Mike Bray was definitely Jerry and Grant. Son of Harvey Grant and nephew of Horace Grant. So, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this list in the comment section. Let me know if I got it right. These are the top 10 players to play at Notre Dame. Just my opinion. I think these are the top 10 players. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Low post, mid post, high post, post game sports. I'm out. Yeah.